have a question. Uh, Larry, Mike, can you hear me? Okay, Larry, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, my question is for you. Um, we're going to vote now, and a lot of people have asked me, when they go to vote, are they voting for a new tank or rehabbing? They want to know. So I want you to answer that question. What would you tell them if they asked you that question? Well, it's the rehab. That's, uh, that's what uh, the board decided uh, uh, a couple months ago, and that's uh, our continued plan for now. Okay. I just said today I heard uh, Steve James say a lot of if uh, you do a new tank, if you recode it, um, if we got rid of Drawmore and nobody stopped him and said, wait a minute, we are rehabbing, we don't need the ifs anymore on uh, that. So that's why I asked the question. Right. Well, the, uh, the if the new tank is for, you know, a future project down the line when, the, uh, when our current tank is no longer viable. Okay, so as, as long as, Larry, you are, you are on board for a rehab um, on this. Correct. Okay. That's the language on the resolution, and we cannot change it. I thought uh, resolutions can be changed. You can vote any time to change a resolution. Not the one that's on the ballot. Not the one that's on the ballot. No. Well, you don't see that on the ballot, uh, Colleen. All you see on the... No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're not saying the same thing. That resolution that was adopted by the board and portions of that are on the ballot. It's too large. It's the one that I sent to Carol. Yes, but what's on the ballot. We cannot change that at no. this point. I, I, on the ballot. But on the ballot. Yes, but on the ballot, it is extremely vague. I mean, not vague, extremely vague. Nobody sees that resolution that you sent me that's below what's on the ballot. Um, right. I understand. Okay. Then yeah. I, all yeah. I was saying I, is. I can assure you that it, it is free to happen. We can't change it. Okay. Well. I don't. Okay, I'm good with that. You're. I got it. You. you you're. Uh, my next question, and it's not a question. It's um, actually. I just want to say that when the easement, the pipe goes along the fence line, it is not um, contacting Park and Rec. It's ca contacting Fish and Game, and on Bond Two, the old board met with fishing game and jesse you were there at the meeting i don't know if steve james was but jesse was and um dave liptick who's the regional manager for fishing game uh talked about at that meeting uh remember jesse he wanted to do a land um deed sw swap and then he said at that meeting, he goes, well, if you use our easement, I want you to know it's going to be very costly. And I remember that comment because it was uh, uh, quite the comment he made at that uh, meeting. So I would say it's um, for me, it's important to know if you're going to use the utility line to put it down. I don't know if they allow that or not. I'm, I have no idea. Or. Are you going to use Fish and Games easement? You're going to need to be meeting with them and um, working out a deal. Um, and Jesse, uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that meeting with um, um, Leptic. Uh, I don't recall in the morning that it was going to be very costly to stick out in the line, but it's entirely possible. Um, and I feel like I would have to yeah, well, yeah, you're right because uh, the fishing game manages the uh, north side of the park, uh, north of the highway. Uh, uh, they have remember, right. remember that. So if, if there's any property, it would be down. But if it's uh, on our side, of the side, I don't know if it, would, uh, if it necessarily would be fishing game. Uh, well, they have a 30 foot me um, easement from the fence out. And that's who the okay. that's who the past uh, board met with, uh, Fish and Game, and uh, it was a very interesting meeting. Um, uh, I can tell you that, especially when they wanted to change 
they were all for the easement, putting your pipe down their property, but they wanted to, a, a deed. The property, right. there's two properties that up there by the um, office, and they wanted to literally get deeded one of those properties. Well, nobody went for that. Um, but I just remember his remark about the cost of using his easement. So you better, I think Fish and Game is on your to-do list to contact. That's all. Okay. Okay, and um, the, the, I only have one other question, and it's for Jesse, and I, I guess I can ask it now. Um, and Jesse, I'm just curious, did you con um, contact the lawyers um, again at the last meeting it was said that you would get a hold of them and um remind them or um kind of um try to get them to respond to um an interview or something like that yeah trying to get them to respond to our rfp there were four initial firms that i had to go to and it was uh two of them have responded back saying they have no intention to do an rfp and then another one, um, which is actually he more specializes in HOAs, um, not large school districts, but he has not responded back to me. Either way, I just got an automatic response at the office. So, so uh, and then we received one. So out of the four, we received one, have heard from another, and then two of them are not intending to uh, submit one. So, are you saying you got you re, you received one, and does that person have experience in baby in water and sewer? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Well, you got one. I guess one to interview. Okay, that's all the questions I have. Yeah, we're, we're interviewing them next week. Actually. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any, are there any questions? questions? Okay, um, well, maybe we'll just go ahead and make a, uh, make a motion for having this meeting for the hearing. And before we move on to the next, uh, yeah, I'll make uh, a motion that 